I'm gonna, because I think the next question is also gonna talk a little bit about characteristics of leadership, but to, to, to answer the, the question that Sandra posed, you know, I, I've actually been very fortunate that Melody, Carla, and Suzanne have all been personal mentors to me in my life and also um, to my husband. And so, um, but when you think about the public finance industry, I think you, you've got to give it up to Suzanne. I mean, um, she is, a, she's been a big supporter of mine. She has offered me a seat at tables. Um, she's offered me insight. She's one of the hardest working women you see uh, walking around in these streets, <laughs> um, trying to win deals. Um, trying to build the capacity of her business. Um, and I think she really, one thing that we share in common, I think it's part of one of the reasons that we also have bonded, is she has a genuine interest in building real relationships um, with her clients and with other people. And although she's super busy, um, you know, I think that she's always made time for me. And so I think about like Melody and Carla and Suzanne, I don't talk to them every day. So they're not like my board of directors, right? But if I call them, I'm calling with a very specific ask. I'm asking for a very specific perspective and I'm being very conscious of their time and how I utilize them. Um, and I think because of that level of respect of them and the way that I'm approaching them thoughtfully around my questions and my asks, uh, they're willing to give me their time. And that's been really accretive to me in my professional development. 